Hello class, welcome to the last lecture on series and sequences and everything that starts with the letter S. I've got a whole ton of S related things to talk about today. There is a wonderful function in your calculator called sequence that we will be utilizing. There is a wonderful function in your calculator called sum which we will be utilizing and then I'm going to teach you about a handy little thing called sigma notation. So if it starts with an S, we're learning it today. Okay, so let's get started and talk about how we can make the calculator work for us. We have been talking about how um, the things that we're doing need to be done in sequence mode. These are lists separated by commas that aren't continuous. They don't exist at every little point. There's just first, second, third, fourth, not first and a half. So if we make the most simple of arithmetic sequences possible, we might say that this variable u, uh, u sub n is equal to u, uh, u sub n is equal to u sub n minus 1 plus 1. That every term is equal to the term before it plus 1 and we're going to start at the number 1. So if we look at the table for that, we've got some pretty basic 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 stuff. If we look at the graph for that, it's a bunch of nice little dots that don't exist at 0. Now, we can get this list uh, out to be useful for us back at the cursor, at the regular part of the calculator, by using the sequence program. So if you see here, second stats is list, and under ops, there's this wonderful thing called sequence. Now, sequence wants four arguments. So look at this. The first thing you have to do is a formula. You have to say, all right, I'm talking about the formula you go out and find me, O calculator, U of N. Okay, that's the first thing. Then you do a comma, and then you say, well, what's the thing that's gonna be counted? What are we gonna be moving up and up and up and up through the list? Well, that's N. We're gonna be going for the first, second, third, fourth, whatever. We want to list the first 20 numbers that come up when you're counting. So I should be nice and add a closing parenthesis and there you go. Now you can scroll to the right and in case you don't know how to count, it's done it there for you. This is not super duper exciting. I mean, it might be interesting to try to find a sequence that, uh, you know, you don't know how to find the next one. It's too large, multiplying by 272, that sort of thing. But much more interesting, much more useful is now when we want to add this stuff up. So if we go second stats over on the list, under the math option, Choice number five is the big daddy. This is the big guns right here, summation. Now, this guy is weird. He wants you to give him a sequence. He wants a list of numbers. So if you just try to say, oh, add up for me one and two and three, he will, um, he will freak out and say, you didn't give me a list. So you can't do that. What you've got to do instead is you've got to say second list, math, sum, and you give him a sequence. And sequences are enclosed in curly brackets. So that same easy thing, one, that same easy thing of one, two, three, four, and I'm going to be super lazy and not do the closing brackets, but that's how he wants his list of numbers. Now, the secret sauce comes when you combine these two. When you say, sum up this sequence for me. So, for example, we might say that I want you to sum up the sequence defined by u sub n, go, and counting with n, going from one to 50. So adding up the first 50 numbers is a pain in the behind. And it does it for you. So that's a much more useful feature for how to add up things. Well, you say, okay, I can do that. I can make, uh, I can just follow the pattern that we said for adding up an arithmetic sequence. Well, you can save yourself a lot of time though um, the geometric formula is pretty quick, but this, this again is a way for the calculator to do it for you. If you want to sum up anything, and you don't even have to program it in into U or V in sequence mode in your calculator. You can just say, sum up for me, uh, where am I? Sum up for me a sequence 
and I'm gonna just make my own. I'm gonna say it's a sequence that is made out of five times letter sequence five to the X. Uh, oh, wait, I needed to do alpha X. And so the variable that we're counting is X. And let's go from one to, this is gonna get really large really quick, one to seven. So this is, think about what this is gonna do. What do you predict? What's the calculator gonna do for us? It's going to add zero at plus five, plus 25, plus 125, plus 625, all the way up to five to the seventh. And there you go. So you see what a real time saver this can be. What we've been talking about is series. Uh, you take a sequence, a list of numbers that are separated by commas, and you put plus signs instead. They're not normally written this way in math. In math, people get to be very, very lazy, and they say, I want to find a shortcut for how to sum this up. And the one that mathematicians came up with, because they all speak Greek and Latin, is they decided to use the Greek letter for S, the summation, since this is a sum, and that works in Latin too, is that they're gonna use the Greek letter S. And the capital Greek letter S looks like that. It's called sigma. So this is gonna be sigma notation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some counter uh, that we're gonna say that there's some initial value for the counter, and then some final value for the counter we write on top of the sigma. And then there's some formula for how to compute each term. And then sigma means add them up. So, uh, for example, if you wanted to add up one to 10, then you would say going from, unless you can pick any letter variable you want, with n going from one to 10, add up n. That whole expression is equal to 55. Okay, so then the more complicated one that I did just a second ago was saying add up from 0 to 7, uh, 5 to the n. And that turned out to be 97655. So you can see what a powerful tool this is. This is a really cool and useful way to describe things in an incredibly short amount of space that things get very, very compact and mathematicians need them to be compact because they use these in all sorts of other ways. The, uh, the principle remains though that you can count up a sequence using sequence uh, function in your calculator, you can sum up a sequence using the sum function in your calculator, and they're going to be given to you in sigma notation.